In 1989, the United Nations adopted the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Every country in the world except the USA and Somalia agreed to adopt it. Articles 28 and 32 state that every child has a right to education and to be protected from child labour. Kajal is a nine-year-old girl living in an urban slum in northwest India. She lives with over 5,000 people that have no running water, sewerage, toilet facilities or safe electricity. Come in. These are my clothes and these are my utensils. I sleep here. This is my doll's house. See, that's a stool and her makeup is there. We decorate her in a sari and lipstick. Pigs, stray dogs, cows live and sleep among families and there is animal and human waste littered amongst the garbage that fills the slum. Most children living in the slum work as rag pickers. As a result, the slum itself is like a rubbish dump as the kids collect the rubbish from the surrounding city and bring it back home to sort through and sell whatever they can recycle. Most people that live here have no education, so this precious waste has become their livelihood. Kajal is up at five in the morning with a cup of tea and then it's off to work. She has to search through filthy rubbish heaps, often competing with pigs, dogs, cows and monkeys that search the rubbish for food. Don't do anything. If you don't do anything, they won't bite. Just keep walking. We follow Kajal to a dumping site. The kids race to be the first one there so they can get their hands on the fresh stuff. They scour rubbish dumps, open sewers, rubbish bins, anywhere they can think of that they might find something of value. I get about 10 to 15 rupees a day. She has blisters on her fingers, cuts on her feet, and has been hit by a car while working in the early hours of the morning. I was looking somewhere else while crossing the road and I didn't see that Honda coming. It hit me here. Kajal's family is one of the poorest in the slum. After her mother died from tuberculosis, Kajal had to leave school in order to work and take care of her younger brother and sister. First, I sweep the floor, then clean the utensils and cook food. After cooking, I go for rag picking. And how would you like to wash dishes like this every day? Meeting her, you get the feeling she's just tired all the time, but she doesn't complain. She knows it's her role to go out and earn money to feed and clothe the family. But the one thing that Kajal really wants from life is to go to school. Earlier, I used to go to school, but not anymore. We used to play, study, do mischief. Once they took us to a zoo, I really liked it there. Since her mother died, Kajal's family have no other way to earn a living. Two years on the street have taught her a lot about survival. Kajal is one of over 45 million children who are forced to work to support their family. Millions, like Kajal, are denied the right to education simply because of where they were born. Almost 95% of people in the slums are illiterate and most don't understand the importance of an education. Unless we do something about it, kids like Kajo will never even read or write and be open to exploitation for the rest of their lives. <laughs>